<clears throat> you guys don't understand, man. In this video, I'm gonna give you one of the mindsets that all true players have. Now I'm talking the guys who hook up with nines and tens on a regular basis. That's just a way of life for them. So stay tuned and cue that motherfucking intro. Okay. The theme of today is to proceed as if success was inevitable. Now, I work with a lot of guys uh, via Skype coaching. I work with a lot of guys in person. And the guys who obviously pay for that coaching, a lot of them have a very similar problem. They all think in terms of winning the battle, but not the war, right? I want you to proceed as if success was inevitable. And I want you to think war not battle, and here's what I mean. A lot of times, these guys micromanage every single part of their interactions, every single part of the dating process with any girl that they are seeing. One guy who I'm working with, uh, he worries a lot about like, is this a sign that the girl's testing me? Like, should I just not respond to this text conversation because I, I feel like she's trying to test me, man? Every time he does that, every time he thinks, what should I do because I think this is a test? What should I do because I think this is a test? He's worried about lowering his value. So in the specific example I'm thinking of, he was worried that a girl asking him out to lunch, for example, was a, a way to for her to start leading the interaction. And he was worried that it was a shit test. And I'm like, bro, like maybe she just wants to see you. And even if she is the one asking you to see her, that's just one small battle, right? Me, myself, I'm willing to sacrifice one small battle, one small shit test, one, one interaction where she led for the greater good. Because I know if she's making the effort to want to see me, even though she's leading, right? We all know that men should be leading most of the time. But even if she leads one time, I'm going to be okay with that because all the other times, I'm the one leading. Because when I see her in person, if she asks me to lunch, right? If that is her way to test me, I know when I do see her at lunch, if I accept her offer, I'm going to be cool. I'm going to be collected. I'm going to have charisma. I'm going to be challenging her. I'm going to be teasing her. I'm going to win the overall war and I'm going to sacrifice that battle for the greater good. Does this make sense, man? Another example is like one time I was in uh, Las Vegas at uh, Marquee. It was Marquee. And I was talking to this girl and I was challenging her and I was teasing her and she was really turned on. There was one instance where her friends were like, okay, stop talking to that guy. We're going over here. And then she took that moment to start leading, right? And this is several years ago. So she goes, you know what? I'm going to go hang out with my friends. You should come out and join me if you think you can hang, right? She said something like that. Now in that interaction, when she says something like that, she's leading. She's the one running this interaction. She's dictating where it goes in that moment, right? And you know, like I always preach, guys, you gotta lead. You gotta be the one moving this interaction forward. But in that, in that example, she was the one leading it forward in that moment, right? But in that moment, I knew I had one of two options. Either I can choose to not accept the fact that she's trying to take over leadership in this interaction, in this moment, and then I can go my separate ways and not go with her, in which case I lose, right? However, if I did choose to accept her frame in that moment, if I did choose to let her lead the interaction in that moment, I know that my chances of winning the war, if you will, increase, right? It's the only good option I have. So I know that when I do follow her outside to go hang out with her and her friends, I know that I can lead it from there. I can take control back, all right? I'm thinking bigger picture here. And another mo more common example, one that you can probably definitely relate to, is buying a girl a drink. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in a situation where you're out with your friends and you meet a girl who's out with her friends and she tells you to buy her a drink? In that moment, do you think, oh my God, I've seen all these, th these dating advice videos. I've seen all these pickup artists talk about like how you should never buy a girl a drink and so you hold your you hold your frame strong or you do any of these things to like refuse to buy her a drink let me ask you this have you ever done that and had her get offended and not want to talk to you anymore yeah of course if you're out in bars or if you're out talking to women on a regular basis it happens all the fucking time don't you think that in that moment in one of those 
situations where it didn't work out because you didn't buy her a drink, wouldn't it make more sense in retrospect to just have fucking bought her the drink, right? Like, what is your goal here? Is your goal to appear high status and never buy girls drinks or is your goal to actually get the girl, right? Because if your goal is to get the girl and you know like it's a hard rule of hers for whatever reason that she wants guys to be chivalrous and buy her drink, then buy her the fucking drink, dude, right? Let her win the small battle so you can win the ginormous war. Let her win this little micro interaction so you can see the bigger picture and create a win-win situation for your both. I just wanted to get that off my chest, man, and I gave you a few different examples so maybe it can relate to you and you can kind of see where I'm coming from. And if you can do this and if you can apply this immediately to your own life, thinking bigger picture rather than smaller interaction, all right? Get your head out of the cloud. Then you, my friend, will be very successful in, in not just dating and social and girls and banging nines and tens, but in business too. A lot of businesses online, mine for example, I'm willing to spend $1 on advertising because I know I'll get $2 back. It's, it's losing the temporary battle to win the bigger picture. On that note, if, if this made any sense to you at all, give me a thumbs up, man. And if you haven't already subscribed, then hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.